Hello everybody and welcome. This time we're looking at this sound. This sound, uh, I think the most understandable name for it is the extended water drop whistle because it kind of takes one of the water drop sounds and extends the um, watery part if you will. Other names for this sound are the Galaxy Whistle or the Bobbly Whistle, named for their respe uh, respective popularizers, I guess. So shout outs to them and anyone I have missed. So the way this sound works, it has two components. It has a clop. I'm not going to teach the clop in this video because I think it's um, it's quite a simple sound. You just kind of hit the tongue at the bottom of your mouth. Just make sure your tongue isn't hitting the roof of your mouth so it doesn't block the airway. So this is incorrect. This is correct. With that being said, the second part of the, the sound is this hollow whistle. Now it may seem like this is the pucker whistle, the basic whistle. but it is actually not. We're going to go over uh, why not in just a second. So let's get started in learning the hollow whistle, the main component of this sound. So the whistle actually works in the way that it, you have this whisper at the back of your throat, done using your tongue at the back of your throat, and then you close your mouth in a very specific way to get an echo inside of your mouth. It doesn't feel like a whisper. It feels more like, uh, sorry, it doesn't feel like a whistle. Instead it feels like a whisper and a kind of echo in your mouth. I think it, for me it resembles blowing into a water bottle. You know, if it has a little bit of water at the bottom, it gets this echo sound when, when you blow in it. So let's look at the whisper sound first. So the way you want the whisper to uh, be formed is think about the times when you have some phlegm or slime in your throat or nose and you're trying to pull it out and then push it out. <laughs> so you spit it out. It's pretty disgusting, I know, but you have to think about this sound you make, <laughs> which is done by putting the back of your tongue against the back of the roof of your mouth. I hope I'm making sense. And then using a lot of pressure. So the tongue should be almost touching the back of the roof of the mouth to create this whistle, uh, whisper. Uh, when you have that sound, you want to make it soft so it actually sounds like a whisper. Now, one thing I want to mention is be very careful so you don't actually whisper using your vocal cords. This is dangerous because, well, I don't want to say it's dangerous, but it, I would say it's, uh, it's not a good way. If I do it for like five minutes, my vocal cords will start hurting and I have to take a break. The whisper is, at least for me, it hurts. So there's no need to do a normal whisper. Instead, you can do this tongue whisper just fine. So let's look at the difference for these two whispers. So here's the incorrect normal whisper. Hello, Psst. hey, hey, you want to learn the, uh, like the water drop whistle? <laughs> and here's the other, the correct one. Hello, hello, hello. Notice how the sound is kind of more tight and more forced. So once more. Okay, I'm being stupid, but this is the whisper you want. So the next part is to focus on the shape of your mouth and try and form a kind of a cup, I should say, with your mouth. So start with the whisper. Make sure the tongue is at the bottom of your mouth. It should be resting normally. 
it's uh, I think it's very 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 easy to fall back into the pucker whistle which would look like this or this but this has nothing to do with this whistle this whistle is different so if you're lifting your tongue you won't be able to clap it so if you're getting this sound that's the pucker whistle if you try and clap it it just doesn't work the tip of the tongue or the middle of the tongue is needed for the pucker whistle if you try and clap it the whistle gets uh, gets uh, destroyed it doesn't work anymore so instead you want the back of the throat to uh, kind of make the whisper Once you close your mouth in a very specific way, it will start to echo inside of your mouth. So the way I have to close it is I kind of extend my jaw gently and then uh, close my lips and try and pull them in just ever so slightly. When you're starting out, it probably won't sound uh, loud at all. It might sound like... If you get any kind of windy echo, echo-y sound, you're on the right track. Uh, you have to play with your mouth position. Uh, when you kind of hit the sweet spot, for me, learning it was uh, like the trick was pulling my lips in just ever so slightly. It made the sound work a lot louder by a lot, I mean like a lot, really a lot louder. So I think your mouth will of course be different from mine. So the way you learn it is going to be slightly different. I think Galaxy does it in a slightly different position and I know Nemesis does it in a slightly different position. So the position is like to be different for you as well. Yeah position position and um, once you have the whistle or like a small whistle even you can experiment with adding the clubs so this is very basic make sure the tongue uh, is not blocking the airway though like I said at the beginning find that uh, combining a loud whisper with the clubs is uh, more difficult than just doing the loud whisper. There's a kind of sweet spot. You can uh, first learn a loud whistle and then add the clubs afterward. But if you want to perfect the sound, you should be doing really loud clubs and a really loud whistle. I think my clubs aren't quite there as, uh, as up to date, but uh, I'm working on it and sometimes it works really beautifully so let's see I don't think I'm leaving anything out be sure to check the description um, maybe add some extra info there so good luck on this if you have questions uh, just ask me in the comments and don't give up this may seem impossible but I assure you it's not it took me about a week maybe to get the sound like a weak version of it but then I refined it for about a month I think before this starts work in any sort of beautiful way so without I don't want to blab on any longer so I wish you good luck and I will see you next time bye bye